Your name is Ansupaldo. Can you spell it for me? Yes, sir. It's A N J U. That Anju? Yes. And where do you come from? Well, I come from Kaireni. Come Kaireni. Okay. Uh, can I see your identification, please? Yes, here it is. Okay, thank you. And what's your name? Well, my name is Sarsati Gisal. Can you spell it for me? Yes, of course. S A R A S W O T I. Where do you come from? Well, I come from Sunawal. You come from Sunawal? Yes. Okay. What do you do? Well, I'm a housewife. You're a housewife? Yes. Okay. Can I see your identification, please? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Anju, yes, tell me something about what you do in your free time. Um, I do different things in my free time. Okay. I watch television, I listen to music, mm -hmm. and sometimes I dance. It is... You dance? Can you dance? Yes, I do. I can dance. Wow. Um, do you sometimes meet your friends in your free time? Yes, I do. I sometimes meet my friends in my Where do you time. meet them? Do you meet them? Do you go to their house or you invite your friends to your home? Well, we usually meet in a restaurant. Restaurant? Yes. Which restaurant do you go? Well, I usually go to Daddy's Kitchen. Daddy's Kitchen? Is that a famous restaurant? Yes, it is very famous restaurant. Mm, okay. Which is your favorite food? Well, my favorite food is Momo. Momo. Yes. Why do you like it? Because it is very tasty and popular food in my ne in Nepal. In Nepal. Okay. Um, do you eat Momo at home or you go outside at the restaurant? Sometimes I go to the restaurant. Okay. And sometimes uh, I make mama at home. Okay. Um, do you go to restaurant alone or you go to restaurant with your friends or you go to restaurants with your family members? Who do you go to the restaurants with? Well, I go there with my friend and, and sometimes I go there with my family. Uh -huh, that's good. Um, how often do you go to restaurant? Well, I go there once a month. Once a month? Yes. I see. That's nice. And what kind of foods do you like to eat outside? I like to eat uh, mama, mm -hmm. cold drink, salmon. Cold drinks? Oh, cold drinks. Yes. Which is your favorite drink? Well, my favorite drink is Sprite. Sprite? Yes. Mm, good. It's very nice, yeah? Ah, okay. Um, do you sometimes buy dress yourself? Yes, I usually buy dress by myself. What about your parents? Don't your parents buy dress yeah, for you? Yeah, they used to. Now I buy my, myself. But where do you buy your dress? You buy in the open market or you go to supermarket to buy your dress? I go to supermarket to buy. You go to supermarket. How far is supermarket from your house? Well, it's not very far. It's about uh, 10 kilometers away from my house. Mm -hmm. Do you go alone or with friends? I usually go to supermarket with my friends. Friends? Yes. Mm, that's nice. Okay. And do you speak English? Yes, sure. I speak English. With whom do you speak English? I speak English with my friends uh -huh. and sometimes I speak English with my son and daughter. Okay. What about, do you speak English with the teacher? Sorry? Do you speak English with your teacher sometimes? Yes, I, uh, I speak English with my teacher sometimes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Well, now in this part of the test, I'm going to give you a topic, okay? Uh, each of you are going to get a topic and you have one and a half minutes to prepare some questions, okay? 
I want you to prepare some questions about your favorite sport, okay? And I want you to prepare some questions about your house, okay? All right. Now you have one and a half minutes. You're gonna start. Okay, start. Okay, thank you. Now please ask your questions to your partner. Excuse me, do you play any sport? Yes, I do. I play any sport. What kinds of sports do you play? Well, I play badminton, volleyball, and sometimes I play mm -hmm. Ludo. What is your favorite sport? Well, my favorite sport is badminton. Why do you play badminton? Well, I play badminton playground. Who do you play badminton with? I play badminton with my son. Okay, how long do you play badminton? I play once hours. Okay, now please ask your questions to your partner. May I ask you some questions about your wallet? Yes, please. Do you live in hometown? Do you live in village or city? Well, I live in city. Do you like your hometown? Yes, I do. I like my hometown. Why do you like? Excuse me, may I ask you some questions yes, about please. your home? Okay. Do you live in house or apartment? Well, I live in my own house. What it is color? Well, it is green in color. How many rooms are there in your house? Well, there are nine rooms in my house. What is your favorite room? My favorite room is living room. Why do you like living room? Because it is very big and it is very well decorated. And there are many things in my living room, like sofa set, TV room, TV, it is it. Do you play in your living room? No, I don't. I don't play in my living room. Do you meet your friends in your living room? Yes, I meet my friends in my living room. Okay, thank you. Well, now in this part of the test, you are going to listen to recordings. Okay? First, you have to listen and answer one question and again then again you have to listen and answer the two or the two questions is that okay yeah. you can make notes if you like okay so what are they doing in the first recording and what are they doing in the second recording okay uh, buying playing or study what are they doing in the first recording buying playing or study you have to listen and choose one answer okay here we go
Sounds 37, please. Um, here you are. Thank you. That's 10 pounds and one pound 63 change. Next, please. Recording two. What's the matter? I've got a history exam on Friday, and I'm worried I'll fail it. Why? You're brilliant at history. It isn't difficult, but I have to remember a lot of information. These are my notes from today. Can I see? Yeah. <laughs> These aren't notes. This is a full text. What do you mean? You don't have to copy everything. Notes are just a few words. You have to write the important words. You don't need to write the extra bits. Look, King Henry VIII was married six times. That's important information. But you don't need to write all of those words. You can draw little pictures too. Pictures can help you to remember things, and then you don't need to write so many words. Look. <laughs> The crown is for King, and the H is for Henry. That's cool. Then the heart is love, and the number six. Well, that's, uh, six. <laughs> yes. So, look at these notes. Let's test your memory. King Henry VIII was married six times. Exactly. Write notes like this, Claire. Then you won't have six pages of notes. You'll only have two or three. Okay. Uh, what are they doing in the first recording? What they continue is buying. Buying? Yeah. Thank you. And what are they doing in the second recording? They are studying. Thank you. Now, Listen again and answer these questions. Okay? okay. So in the first recording, what kind of drink he likes, and what is the table number, and what is the total bill. In the second recording, on which day is history exam? Okay. How many times? King Henry was married and what can she do to remember things? What can she do to remember things? So listen again and answer these questions. Listen very carefully, okay? Here we go. Now listen again and answer these questions. Recording one. Can I have a burger, please? A cheeseburger or a double cheeseburger? Double cheeseburger, please. Mm hmm Anything else? Yeah, I'd like some banana cake. Would you like a drink? Yes. Can I have an apple juice, please? Okay. So, that's one double cheeseburger, one banana cake, and an apple juice. What's your table number? Table three. How much is that? Uh, that's eight pounds thirty-seven, please. Um, here you are. Thank you. That's ten pounds and one pound sixty-three change. Next, please. Recording two. What's the matter? I've got a history exam on Friday, and I'm worried I'll fail it. Why? You're brilliant at history. It isn't difficult, but I have to remember a lot of information. These are my notes from today. 
Can I see? Yeah. <laughs> These aren't notes. This is a full text. What do you mean? You don't have to copy everything. Notes are just a few words. You have to write the important words. You don't need to write the extra bits. Look, King Henry VIII was married six times. That's important information. But you don't need to write all of those words. You can draw little pictures too. Pictures can help you to remember things, and then you don't need to write so many words. Look. <laughs> Good. The crown is for King, and the H is for Henry. That's cool. Then the heart is love, and the number six. Well, that's uh, six. <laughs> yes. So look at these notes. Let's test your memory. King Henry the Eighth was married six times. Exactly. Write notes like this, Claire. Then you won't have six pages of notes. You'll only have two or three. Okay. Uh, what kind of drink he likes? He likes apple juice. Thank you. What is the table number? Table three. Thank you. And what is the total bill? Uh, 837 pounds. Thank you. Uh, in the second degree, on which day is her history exam? Friday. Thank you. And how many times King Henry was married? Thank you. And what can she do to remember things? Part of the test, you are going to have a conversation, okay? You have to practice conversation to each other, okay? I want you to have a conversation about your favorite season. Please have a conversation, okay? You can start your conversation. What is your favorite season? Well, my favorite season is the spring season. What about you? Well, my favorite season is the spring season. Why do you like spring season? Well, I like spring season because spring season is king of the whole season it is neither hot nor cold it is very pleasant season we can do different things we can play isn't it and yeah. go for swimming yeah i like that season too very much what is the season that you dislike well my dislike season is winter season what do you, what is your dislike season well i dislike winter season as well it's very cold isn't it what do you do in spring season? Well, I I do spring season is uh, I go I won I won. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you.